For the next hour, I'm going to show you every single Minecraft hack, myth, tip, or trick that has ever been added into the game, and I'm going to give you so much knowledge that your brain is going to explode. What we got going on with this first one? This dude is building a... a, a, a what? It's a... Okay, there is no... No absolute way. All right, so we have our ancient debris and then we're placing down a piston and then an in rod on the piston. Okay, I'm gonna do exactly what he did with the redstone and everything, ready? I feel like I'm getting trolled. Hold on, hold on. Okay, what if I try moving the piston closer so the in rod actually goes in it like this? What the flip? Yeah, that's a false. That's some clickbait right there. All right, so this dude is digging out a bunch of ground. I have absolutely no idea what he's about to do. He's digging down two layers deep. Okay. Placing down a ton of iron. I don't really understand what the iron is for, but maybe we'll he'll explain it in a sec. Then he puts obsidian in the hopper, and then he covers it with stairs and water. And now he's shooting arrows at it, and they're bouncing off? Huh? Oh, oh, we made like a crazy waterfall. What the heck? We're about to make some really weird waterfall thing. I have absolutely no idea what he just built, but we're going to try our best to replicate it. All right, he puts down a piston and a slime block. I'm not putting the iron down. I feel like it's a waste of iron. Yes, I know I'm in creative mode. And then he covers it in obsidian. Okay, so far, so good. And then places down a comparator and then makes these two hoppers talk to each other like that and then puts a piece of obsidian in there. Oh, okay. So that part works. And then he places stairs around the entire thing. Bro, this is uh, this is a weird Minecraft hack, all right? And then he drops in a bunch of water at every corner. There we go. Okay, so you can see the slime block is coming down. The water replaces it and just keep... It's doing its thing. And then you just start spamming this. So far, so good. It, it, it is working. It is working. I don't know how. Now, you do have to use arrows of night vision, by the way, to get that blue effect of the arrows. We did it! I... I don't really know the point of this. It kind of looks like a really fancy waterfall, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, well, this works. This is not clickbait. Let's go on to the next one. We got another clickbait hack here. So this dude is going underground. Wait, everyone knows that trick. Wait, I did not know that trick, but apparently this dude found a much better way to glitch through the world. He puts a potion of night vision in there. Okay, and then a glowing ink sack. What? And then he has a glowing potion. What did he just, what did he just, cra what did this bro just craft? He drinks it and it highlights all diamonds and emeralds. Okay, there is no flipping way. Nah. No, nah, I do not believe that one bit at all. All right, so we have our brewing stand, right? Okay, so he drops in the potions, drops in a magma, and then a glowing ink sack. Uh, bro. Bro. No, this, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't put a glowing ink sack in a brewing stand. All right, so this is absolute clickbait. Literally, it will not let me put the ink sack in the brewing stand, probably because the item doesn't belong in there, just like you can't put a brewing stand inside of a brewing stand. So that is completely false and completely clickbait. All right, this next one is pretty epic. So there's a fox in there, and he gives him a totem of undying, kills him, and then the fox ki What? You're telling me a fox can use a totem of undying. All right, well, I guess let's try this and see if it actually works. We'll make a double high fence, just like he did. We'll drop in a fox spawner. Okay, so we got our fox in here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him one time, and then I'm gonna drop him this totem. Let's see if he grabs it. He actually grabbed it. Look, it's not in my inventory. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to kill him. Oh, what? What? He used it! I mean, he didn't have two of them, but still, what the flip? All right, so that is not clickbait. All right, this is how to get a zombie horse in Minecraft. First, you have to put a zombie and a normal horse together in a cage. Then you have to make the zombie and the horse stand in each other. What? The zombie will sit on the horse. It's apparently not very easy to do. 
The zombie sits on the horse and what? I didn't know this is how zombie horses were made. I'm gonna spawn in a horse and a zombie. All right, so all I gotta do is wait for this zombie to sit on that horse. Oh wait, he's going straight towards the horse. Wait, does the horse need a saddle? I don't know, do zombies need saddles? <laughs> I don't, I don't flip it, no. Just sit on it. Let's get multiple zombies in here, so that way we have a higher chance. This might take a second, but... Why is this so difficult? <laughs> Go sit on him. Don't be nervous. Don't be shy. He's not gonna hurt you. Sit on the horse. All right, so I've been at this for uh, about seven minutes now, and um, no progress yet. Bro, someone just sit on him! All right, I'm just gonna spawn a ton of zombies, and eventually one of these dudes has to sit on this horse. All right, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I've been doing this for 15 minutes, and I don't think it works. Try this in your Minecraft world and see if it works. I could not get it to work, so I'm gonna consider this one false. All right, so this dude is building a double end portal. Okay, wait. Okay, first off, I can tell you that that is definitely not going to work. None of this is going to work. What the flip? No. No, that doesn't, no. no. Okay, wait, I kind of want to try the piston one. That looks interesting. All right, ready? <laughs> what the flip? All right, so this dude is building uh, some grass, a lot of grass, and then he spawns in a bunch of flowers, and then he drops in a bunch of sand. Okay, 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 okay. And then he is going to delete all of the grass, which makes the sand float. We can try that. We're not gonna build it as big as his, but we will, there we go. We got like a little, you know, four by five, six looking square thingy my bobber. Okay, so pretty simple. He places down the flowers and then he places down the sand. Well, um, yeah, that does not work, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna, yep, that one's a false. That one's clickbait. Minecraft life hack. This dude is building a rail system under water? No. No flipping way. No flipping way. Okay, so he used a powered rail and then he had one and, oh, you can. Okay, okay, this might change my mind. This might change my mind a little bit here. So he used redstone, and then he takes the powered rail underwater, and then he used soul sand. We're gonna do a smaller distance than what he did, and then another piece of redstone, and then connects the track. So, I'm sorry, what? Okay, so somehow, yeah, what? He places down a minecart, he rides it, what? The minecart bounces across, and then catches the track on the other side. All right, mine cart's in. Let's see if it works. Ready? Oh! No flipping wait a second. It, it's just stuck in the middle. It worked for a second, and this is a lot shorter of a distance. Oh, no, it just gets stuck. It just gets stuck in the middle. I can't move or anything. Yeah, no, I'm gonna... Oh, wait! Oh! 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 Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back there, buddy. Go back there, buddy. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, so if you get out and give it a push, it, it will do it. But then again, if you get out and you push a minecart, it, it's honestly gonna push on any surface. So, I mean, this is kind of cool. It, it kind of works, kind of doesn't. I'm gonna consider it a false, though. All right, so this dude built a big hole. He is... I don't really know what he's doing. What is this? Oh, is it? Oh, it's an armor stand switcher. Oh, yo, wait. I've always wanted to know how to build one of these and I didn't think it would be that easy to build one. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I hope this one works. All right, so he places down a piece of redstone with redstone dust on top and then a redstone torch. Pretty simple. And then he places down a sticky piston with a slime block and then another piece of obsidian with redstone dust right there. And then another redstone torch. Are you kidding me? That's it? That's literally how easy it is? All right, so now you just gotta cover it all up just like so. And then you have a trap door with a button. Fred, you gotta be kidding me. Are you for real? That's literally how easy it is. 
is you place an armor stand on here, it drops it down. Place another armor stand, drops it down. No! Boom, 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 boom. Look at this. So all I gotta do is press the button and it brings out the gold armor. I press it again. It brings out the diamond armor. Are you kidding me? That's how easy it is to build an armor stand switcher. I thought these things were always super complex and super hard to build, but this is a true one. And guys, build this in your house. This is sick. Did you know? Okay, so this dude placed down a diamond block and a dirt block and a stone block. I'm confused on what he's doing here. He, wait a second. Nah, 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 no way, no way. No way. Then he drops it. I, I am definitely getting trolled. All right, so he drops in the sword, and then he grabs a potion, and it has to be a splash potion, okay? So we had two potions here. So let's drop in this one first. <laughs> oh, I'm so getting trolled right now. Yeah, there's no flipping way this is gonna work. That is false. That is false. You can't change the color of a sword with a potion. I just got trolled, okay? I just got absolutely trolled. All right, so this dude just put... Nah, bruh. I don't believe that one bit, but we'll try it. All right, we're going into a cave system. I need to find a lava pit, okay? He did it right next to a lava pit, so I will do the exact same thing. Okay, so he placed down the composter right here. And then he is going to stand in it like so. And then puts a... There we go. Oh, wait, what? Whoa! I didn't think it would actually work. So I don't see any diamonds. Actually, actually, I do see diamonds right there. And normally I would not be able to see that. I'm looking through the wall. I can see coal under the lava. I can see this iron. I can see the redstone over there that I couldn't see before. No flipping way. And guys, I'm in 1.17.1 version of Minecraft, the newest version of Minecraft, and it works. Are you flipping... Okay, let me see if it works not next to lava. I wonder if it only works next to lava. All right, so now I'm just in a cave system. Let me drop in here. There we go. Put that on my head. No! What? It doesn't have to be next to lava. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I can see a creeper over there that I normally would not be able to see. I can see him straight through the wall. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that would actually work. Okay. All right. Well, that is completely true. All right. Minecraft 1.17 duplication glitch. This dude has a crazy netherite sword and he is... What? He changes the name to Nightmare. And then it... Ha! Huh? Wait, so you have to cover your inventory in dirt? Nah, I don't know if I believe this one, okay? I don't know about that. I think you have to name the sword Nightmare. I think he's just doing that to show you that you have to rename it. But let's go ahead and try it. All right, so we have an anvil right here. I'm going to drop in my netherite sword. I'll even call it Nightmare as well. We got Nightmare, okay? And I need to cover my entire inventory in dirt. Now we just got stacks and stacks of dirt. And then, boom. Um, doesn't work. I didn't think that would work. <laughs> this guy's gonna make a crazy staircase. Check this out. He does this with a command block and it is basically shulker blocks on armor stands. And he's just flying up into the air. Look at how big this staircase is. And then he stops the command and he's built like this roller coaster staircase all the way up to the world height limit. And believe it or not, you can actually walk on this, bro. Look at this. Okay, now I'm in Minecraft. And the question is, does it actually work? So this command block, this command block has the exact same command in it that he used. All I have to do is press always active and oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> It actually works, but the question is, am I able to walk up it? Okay, how do I, I don't know what command he used to go down, but I'm gonna try to, oh, flip, oh, flip. Uh, uh, okay, well, the staircase is going down. Slowly but surely, we're gonna make it back down. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this, look at this. See, every step you take, every single movement you make, it's just spawning hundreds of them. How is this not lagging my game? Okay, 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 click on the, okay. Oh, I need to write some, okay. I think I turned it off. Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh. Now, wait, can I actually climb up this? Are you serious? What? 
Let's go survive mode just to show you guys. I'm literally climbing up this staircase. We're in completely vanilla Minecraft 1.18 right now. I can't believe this actually worked. We'll catch my fall. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Okay, voila, the more you know. I did not know you could do this. What happens if you slap one? Slippity, slappity, slippity, slappity. Oh my gosh, wait, you can't even, bro, you can't even hit one. It's like a solid block, like you can't even. Whoa. All right, so this guy, this guy has a grass block, a flower, and some snow, okay? Nothing suspicious going on about this yet, okay? So he breaks it, flower breaks, okay, pretty normal. So now he has another grass block, and he adds the flower, and then the snow and then a button, but it deletes the snow and then the flowers floating and the, and the. No flipping way that works. I don't believe it. All right, now moment of truth, does this actually work? So I have some grass right here. I'm gonna place my dandelion, my beautiful flower, okay? And then, wait, ah, uh, it does not let me place this. Oh, wait, now the, wait, what? It does it. Okay, wait, I have to place the snow first and then the flower, but then it deletes the snow. So I don't, hold on, hold on. Let me try the whole button thing. So if you place a button on this one, which it does not let me place a button here. Let me, what if I try to place it on the other side no no it does not let me place a button right there it does not make, let me place snow oh wait what the heck dude i can't place snow on this block but i can place it on this block it does not let me place a button i i'm gonna say this one does not work that one's false floating flowers do not exist okay so everything's pretty normal right here we have um everything's pretty normal so far we have glass iron bars and a fence and then he's going to till this dirt, uh-huh. And then it causes the bar to like separate from it, but it doesn't do it with the fences. Whoa! Now, why would you ever need to know this in Minecraft? I have no idea. Okay, so if I till, if I till this dirt, you see the glass separates. If I till this, it separates. And then if I till this one, it, wait. Wait, so it does work. What the flip? So you are real. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, but if you delete it, and then wait, what happens if you, if you place it back? Oh, it connects back to <gasps> this right here is a broken bedrock wall. This dude is gonna use this beautiful drip leaf to somehow walk through this bedrock. I'm sorry, what? Wait, what, what, what? This can be an entrance for your secret base. He literally walks straight through it. You just have to hold on to it first. What the heck? Are you for real? Whoa, 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 hold on. Look, look when he comes out of the wall. Look, he blinks. What the flip? Yeah, there's no way this works. He blinks in Minecraft. All right, now moment, moment of truth, does this actually work? So I'm gonna place the dripstone leaf right there. And then as you can see, this is a solid wall that you cannot walk through. Now I'm gonna jump on here and then it's gonna drop me down. I'm gonna place this. And if I keep holding W. Oh, I don't really think that's what it was supposed to do. Hold on, let's try that again. Is this one supposed to be true or false? All right, let's try this again. Okay, I'm running, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm doing exactly what, I'm holding down W, I got- uh, No, I don't really think that works. I'm definitely getting trolled. There's no way you can walk through bedrock, bro. Villager glitch. Okay, Mr. Villager. So you have a villager that's sleeping and you want to absolutely prank him. You place a boat near him while he's sleeping he gets in the boat uh okay you just push him in the boat okay do you have to do it while he's sleeping though and then oh you do wait what and then he goes to sleep in the boat no way no way what wait what i don't know if i believe this i mean maybe i don't know the sun is down and this villager is going to bed little does he know this villager is about to go to sleep on a boat and i'm gonna push him out into the middle of the water and wait for him to wake up <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be such a good prank. All right, I'm pretty sure this villager just went to sleep. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. I don't wanna wake anyone up. Sorry. All right. Hello, sir. Hello. 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 Are you dreaming right now? Are you dreaming? Okay. Yeah, he's definitely asleep. Okay. Let's go ahead and place down. Oh my gosh. This, bro, your Minecraft house is too tiny. I'm gonna have to. There we go. There we go. Now we just wait. What if I break his bed? Yeah. Wait, are you gonna go to sleep? Are you gonna go to sleep? Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. It's it's nighttime, it's nighttime. Here, do you want me to close? I'll, I'll close the door, don't worry about it. Okay, uh, uh, go to sleep, buddy. Are you asleep? Are you asleep? Uh, 
Um, I don't know. Where's, wait, where's your face? Oh, it's over here. I don't think it is working, my dude. Yeah, he's definitely wide awake. Hmm. Let's try another villager. Maybe, maybe you're not in a deep enough sleep. Yo, what's up, bro? I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. All right. So I'm going to, don't mind me. I'm just going to spawn this right next to you. Don't mind me. Just going to, just going to push that over there. And I'm also going to put another bed over here and another bed over here. Okay. So, um, and then I'm going to break your bed because I'm a savage. And then I need you to go into the boat. Yep. Thank you. And then I'm going to push another bed here. And now I just need you to go to sleep. Time set midnight. It's midnight, bro. You should be in bed right now. Um... I don't think it works. This man is not wanting to lay down at all. Like, he has absolute no interest in laying down. He's just like, what are you looking at? What is out there? You see something? I don't, I don't see anything. Okay, okay, sir. Well, thank you for the opportunity. I'm just gonna, yeah, you, you have a nice night. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go with another bedrock wall glitch. Here we go. If this one works, I will, you know what? Actually, it's not even gonna work. Okay, so you add water and you put uh, a boat in a dispenser. What? Then you press the button and it spawns the boat in the middle of the wall. Oh, here we go. And then you jump in the boat and you drive through the wall. What? What? No, absolutely not. All right, I got I got my dispenser. I got my boat inside there. I got my bedrock wall. Let's just, okay. So you hop in the boat and you drive. Oh, flip. I just went through a bedrock wall. Okay, when you leave the game right before a creeper explodes, and then if you log back onto the world, you won't take any damage. Huh, I've actually heard of this myth, and a lot of people do this when they're in like hardcore survival worlds. So let's see if this actually works. Okay, all right, so I see a beautiful creeper. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Okay, so right, oh my gosh. Okay, so he was about to explode. Let's, let's give him a second to kind of explode and do his thing. Okay, let's log back in. All right, loading back in to the world. Oh, he's still there. Oh, 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 wait. I paused it the second he exploded. Do you think I'm going to take any damage? Look at my hearts right now. Oh, look at my hearts. Wait, it actually kind of worked. Look at my hearts. I have full health. He exploded right in front of my face. Are you serious? Are you for real? Did that really just happen? Let's try to summon another one. Okay, I just spawned another creeper because I want to make sure that this one 100% works. Okay, that one actually killed me. I might have messed up the timing there. All right, let's see if I can get the timing perfect again. Ready? All right, and... Oh, no! Flip. Okay, well, that's awkward. All right, let's see if I can nail the timing again. I don't even have that many hearts right now, so... Oh, okay. Logging out. Logging back into the world. Oh, Flippy's still here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He just exploded. My game is paused. I literally only have four hearts. And when I unpause it, he explodes, but I take no damage. Okay, so it is really hard to time it. But yes, you can pause the game and save yourself from dying by just pausing the game. That's a fun fact. Apparently, the same thing happens if you also do this while you're falling to your death. So forget the whole water bucket thing. You can just log out, log back in, and you won't take any fall damage. So let's try it. Okay, I'm going to put myself in survival mode, and I only have four hearts, so I would definitely die from this if I pause it right before, and then I leave the game, and then I go back into my world. I'm loading it back up, and look at that. I took no damage whatsoever. Yo, pausing the game can really save your life. Oh my gosh, that's sick. Apparently, you can also use this same trick when you're stuck in lava. What? So this dude pauses the game while he's in the middle of being stuck in lava, and then he goes, wait, when he, re when you rejoin, you'll be immune to fire damage for a short time, and then he's allowed to get out of the lava. Whoa. What? This trick can save your life in a hardcore world. I mean, it's like low-key glitching and kind of cheating if you're doing this in hardcore. But I mean, if it saves your world, it saves your world. Bro, you gotta do anything to save that hardcore world. All right, now let's see if this actually works. So I'm running, I get stuck in a lava pit and I pause it, okay? As you can see on the screen right now, I only have two hearts. So we're going to quit this game. And now I'm going to join the game again and I'm ready to run a little bit. And then I'm gonna pause it again. Look at that, look at that, look at that. So it's going to give me a little bit more immunity. And then I'm going to go back to the game again. And then check this out. Check this out. Boom. I got out of the lava pit with no damage. Oh, I'm going to pause it again. Look at that. I only have one heart right now. I have one heart. Okay. Going to go back into the game again. And then I have a little bit of more immunity so I can get over to this water and wash myself off. Yo, I just made it through that entire lava pit with only four hearts. And I'm still alive. What if I'm about to take damage from this zombie? Oh! 
Oh, flip! I didn't pause it in time. Okay, we'll get to that later. Okay, so this dude, this dude is looking at an Enderman through different things to seeing if he will get attacked by them. So you're kind of like using these to hide. Uh, okay, this is very interesting. Looking at him through a fence. He doesn't seem to do anything. He doesn't really care. Looking at him through a cobweb. Oh, he does not like the cobweb. It, uh, I don't know if he's going to attack, but you can tell he is angry. And then looking at him through a villager. What? <laughs> and then using a potion of invisibility and he's still the all oh, no he looks mad he he looks he looks terrified all right test number one the trap door so i am looking straight at this enderman as you can see and he has no interest in getting angry at me but the second i open this trap door uh yep he he's mad okay 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 so yes trap doors can actually save you from an enderman trying to kill you our next test is the cobwebs so i'm looking straight at him through the cobwebs he's not doing anything he doesn't care but i guarantee you the second oh yeah the second i make it through those cobwebs he's gonna get angry now if this one works i'd be surprised this is tall grass and i am staring right oh he's getting kind of angry okay <laughs> my man's not very my man's not very happy oh flip okay chill bro our last test is a villager so i'm gonna spawn in the enderman spawn in the villager and can i look at the enderman through the vill okay i don't think he's getting angry i can't really tell is he getting angry no he's not getting angry villager you're my cover you can use a lot of Oh, oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. Okay, so this next this next glitch is very interesting. This is one using one of the new Minecraft blocks that isn't out yet, I believe. Okay, so this is whoa, what in the world is happening? What is even going on? This dude is using snowballs to create this like wave effect, and the redstone of this new block is activating all these trapdoors. I don't even know what's happening, but it's sick. I need to figure out how I can how do you make this? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So these right here are the skulk sensors and the, these are in minecraft but you can't really get them in survival mode i think you have to pull them from creative but basically they detect any type of movement so one of these trap doors move and then all of them just kind of move together so let's try the snowball thing all right so i got all the sensors to calm down and they're not moving at all okay i'm just gonna try to be really careful because literally these small dude i could drop this piece of grass and they're gonna start going crazy all right so let's try the snowball are you guys ready here we go. I'm going to throw it right there. Oh, wait. That's so sick. What? That is so cool. I can see people making some really creative things with this in the future. This is awesome. Let me just throw a ton of snowballs. What does that do? Oh, my gosh. It kind of just makes it freak out. It is going crazy. And as you guys can see, the zombies are not walking over the rails. An easy way to protect your house. Let's see if it actually works. So, I'm saying if this works, I'm going to be so surprised surprised like i did not know this was a thing that zombies just don't want to walk over rails i'm gonna go ahead and put myself in survival mode so all these zombies are gonna want to kill me and no flipping way oh no oh no 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 okay i don't know if it works yo wait hold on it worked for a second i think one of the zombies might have pushed the other one over the rails all right let's try it again let's just do two zombies okay so these zombies are angry they hate me i walk over the rails and look yo so it does actually work. Are you kidding me? Look, they're not, they're not touching me. One of the zombies pushed the other one over the rails and then all the zombies got smart. Oh wait, it works for, okay, it doesn't work for spiders. Does not work for spiders. Confirmed, you can use rails to protect yourself from zombies. That is so weird. I can't believe that works. All right, what do we got here? This is a launcher that this guy is building. So he's got, wow, that was really easy to build. Just a button. No flipping way. That's it? There's no way that works. He literally just put one sticky piston down. All right, I gotta try this. There is no way this works, bro. No flipping way. So he puts that down and then that, and then he puts dirt and then a button and then, okay, okay. Well, let's see if it works. What? I mean, it, it bounces me up, but what makes him bounce up so high? Nah, that does not work. False decision not working. All right, so this dude is building some uh, iron bars and then a bunch of other blocks. Honestly, it looks like he's building some type of fireplace. Oh, never mind. He now has pistons. Stand on top of the iron bars, push the lever, and then break the blocks. Crouch in front of you, and then you can go into the block. 
No way. All right, I gotta try this. All right, well, this seems simple enough, honestly. It looks like he just built a little wall here and then put a piston there and put a lever and then it pushed him. Okay, so now I'm like in. Hold on. Oh, okay. It does work, but whenever I remove the block from above me, it just pushes me out. So, I mean, it does work for a second because look, I can walk in here and oh, I'm just laying down. Oh, well, <laughs> well, that's that. I'm thinking maybe this doesn't work because maybe we need to be in Bedrock Edition instead of Java Edition because that guy was on Windows 10 Bedrock Edition. So that might be the reason this doesn't work. But for right now, I'm gonna claim this as false. All right, this dude is about to make a circle in Minecraft. Yes, I said a circle. We have never seen that before. So let's see how he does it. Wait, what? What? Boys, we're trying this right now, right? Flip it now. Let's flip it go. Okay, so he, he basically what, put a bunch of honey blocks. Minecraft is so weird sometimes. And that's why I make these videos to expose the secrets. So all he did is he spawned in a rail and then he spawned in like a ton of mine carts. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay, and then he just pushed them. No flipping way. Okay, wait. The minecarts are indeed moving, but they're not making a circle. Did he like punch one of them? Yeah, all he did is just stand on them. That's all you do is just stand on them. Okay, let me try this one more time. I'm not gonna put as many minecarts that time either. All right, let me... Nah, bro, it doesn't work. What the flip? That's so, I mean, the minecarts do move. They kind of freak out and shake a little bit, but they don't turn and make a circle. I don't know. I'm going to mark this one as false. All right. What is this guy doing? He's building a cobblestone wall and then some redstone block and then some TNT. Okay. Whoa, wait, what? Did you see that? It deleted... Wait, what? What did it do? I'm confused. Never mind. I thought it did. Oh, wait. Oh, it expanded the wall. Oh, flip! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a hacker. All right. So we basically build this wall out. We delete the, the, the blocks. And then, you know, the wall looks like this. That's how it's supposed to look, right? Now we're going to expand it. Oh my gosh, look at it. What the flip? Look at the wall. Guys, all right, so a wall is supposed, one wall block is supposed to look like that, but now it looks like that. What? That's so fucking weird. What the flip? All right, well, that was an easy hack. All right, so this dude is trying to spawn a tree, but it's surrounded by glass, and then it makes the tree extra tall. So that is how to make extra tall trees in Minecraft. So let's see if it works. All right, so we're gonna make a ton of glass around this tree. We're gonna make it extra, extra tall. That right there, that's a pretty tall tree. I mean, you gotta agree with me on that one, come on. Then I don't think you have to use glass, but I'm just using it so you guys can see the tree grow, place the sapling, and let's go ahead and just keep going. Ah, nothing yet. So I will say if this does work, I wouldn't recommend doing it because, what the flip? Yeah, it didn't really work. <laughs> it did not do anything. Hold on. Let me try this, but with bedrock. Now we got bedrock, so let's see if this tree will grow. Watch it just go through the bedrock. Oh, oh, wait. I think it actually worked. We made a taller tree. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so I guess the, the first one just didn't get lucky, but yeah, it, I guess, yeah, it works. It does. You just got to use bedrock. Good luck getting bedrock. All right, this is a creeper. This guy's getting chased by a creeper, so he goes in here and no flipping way. What? Is that how you hide from a creeper? All right, so we got a composter and then we have a trap door on it and then I'm gonna have this creeper chase me. All right, here we go. And I don't have a lot of health, so he's probably gonna be pretty angry. Come on, Mr. Creeper. Come on, Mr. Creeper. There we go. He's about to explode. Watch it. And then boom. No flipping way. He didn't explode. Look at him. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like you're playing hide and seek with him. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, he's not exploding. 
flipping way. Wait, that's actually hilarious. Okay, well now he blew up, but that is hilarious. That is, that's how you can play hide and seek with a creeper. All right, this dude is typing in a command and he's actually, wait, what? What? It switches blocks that are, whoa! He typed in slash give at s debug stick. No flipping way, what is this? All right, let's try to place a block down, something that turns. Uh, let's try these two. So we have a, a sticky piston here and then a dispenser. Oh my gosh, it actually works. Look, I can rotate. Oh, what the flip? What? Boys, I have just found the, the meaning of life. Oh, I can remove the legs. Oh, wait, wait, wha what? What? Look at this flipping bed, boys. What? <laughs> no flipping way. This is so weird. Can I do it to a chicken? Hello, chicken. Oh, wait, I can change the grass too. Yo, this stick is pretty crazy. That is cool. I did not know that even existed. If you guys want to mess around with this in Minecraft, get yourself a debug stick and just go slap a bunch of things and see what happens. What happens to the wood? Oh. oh! What the fuck? All right, this is things you probably didn't know about Minecraft. This guy has a sign. He makes it say hello and then no flipping way. You could do that with die. So we write a word, we write subscribe, which you guys should do. And then we, no, what? Am I the only one that didn't know this? No flipping way, you can just change the colors. It works, it works. Bro, this this is blowing my mind. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, this dude is building. Uh, I don't even know what he's building. What the heck? Oh, he just spawned. He's spawning in a bunch of end crystals. I'm so confused. And then he lands on them and he gets sent to the moon. All righty. Oh my gosh. Wait, it is working. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're pushing a lot of these end crystals into this one block because I guess you can't spawn all the end crystals on the same block because they'll probably explode. That looks insane. Dang. Okay, so you go all the way up and you just drop down and land on it. Nope, it didn't do anything. What if I punch it? Oh, okay. <laughs> if I punch it, it does explode. Okay, so it does work. The end crystal thing does work, but when you land on the end crystals, they don't explode and make you fly to the moon. But the end crystal part was pretty cool, I will say. All right, what we got going on here? This dude is building some type of wall with some pistons in it, making it all fancy. I have no idea what he's doing, so let's just keep watching. Why does he keep building things? Oh! Oh, what the flip? All right, boys, we are about to make sand float. I don't even know how that is possible, but we are about to do it. And then he put this here and then he put obsidian right here. What the flip? How does that make any sense? Okay, and then he put two slime blocks right here and then he's gonna drop in. As you guys can see, this is sand. Let me just, let me just drop this sand just to let you guys know that it does not float. Okay, cool. Now he put the sand right here. Then he deleted this. This, okay, and then he spawned that there. Oh, flip. Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna work. No, oh, flipping way. No flipping way. What? I don't even know what to say anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing I have to say about this magic sand is that you should go get our magic merchandise. We just dropped brand new merch, boys, and it's awesome. Look at it, look at it, look at it. This is not the only shirt. There's tons of other shirts, hats, and, and accessories that we dropped, so go check it out. Things you probably don't know. All right, so this dude, he's trying to beat up an iron golem, and then, oh, what? You can repair them? Okay, to be fair, I did know that, and yes, you can do it. All right, so here we have our iron golem. Let's go ahead and get a netherite sword and then we'll just get more iron to repair him. So let's go ahead and beat him up a little bit. Sorry, buddy. There we go, we're beating up really bad. Okay, you can see he's really hurt. You give him some more iron and then he's fully repaired. Yeah, so this is, this is the only thing on the list that I actually knew. That's pretty cool. This dude is just walking in Minecraft and he has a bow and a flame bow. Ah yes, the good old flame Minecraft bow. He has a wooden pressure plate. And what is he going to do with this pressure plate? He's going to shoot the flame bow onto it and then it activates it. And then he does weather rain. And then, oh, wait, what? It puts out the one on the land, but the one on the pressure plate is still on fire. Tell me how that makes any sense, ladies and gentlemen, what? Okay, so this bow is enchanted with flame. Okay, so if I go ahead and shoot one over here and then one over here, and then 
Weather, rain. Okay, so it's gonna start raining. Eventually, maybe next year, maybe after you guys hit the like button. Does it not flip and rain in this biome, bro? Weather, thunder. Let's try thunder. Rain and thunder. The best of both worlds. Yo, literally, what is going on? Does it not rain in this world? Am I, like, in the wrong biome? Does it just not rain in this biome? I'm very, I'm very confuzzled. Can it rain in... What the flip? It actually doesn't rain in this biome. That's a thing? I did not know that. Okay, so we're gonna have to fly a little further away and get out of this dry biome. I didn't know that it actually doesn't rain. I mean, I guess you've... Have you seen rain in the desert before? Bro, that's so weird. That's another thing I didn't know about Minecraft, honestly. Okay, I found, I found a normal biome with weather. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. And a boom and a bam. Okay, voila. Weather, rain, wa-bam. Yo, it actually works! What? That's crazy! That is something right there. Wow! I don't know why you would need to know this, but you know it now. All right, so this dude's in a desert, kind of sus already, and he's placing down some fence posts, okay? It's an average day. You know, he's just trying to give some water to his cow. But he's ca so he set his cow on fire. Wait, the cow doesn't go in the- Huh? What? He just- I mean, cows are bigger than one block, I guess. So that would make sense. But it's so weird how they just hover around it. It's kind of funny. I'm not really sure why you place the fence around it. I'm not going to place the fence. I'm just going to set this guy on fire. Okay, let's see. Yo, it works. <laughs> it literally just spins around in circles. Okay, but wait, hold on. If we make it two blocks. Hey, Mr. Cow, come over here. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do this to you again. I'm sorry. Just come here. Now it's two blocks wide. And if I set you on fire... He still doesn't fit. Let me try it again. Come here, Mr. Cow. Come here, Mr. Cow. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Oh, okay, he does fit in that one. <laughs> Yo, what a Why would anyone need to know this in Minecraft? Okay, so this dude, this dude has a slime block and a fish. And what happens when you combine a slime block with a fish? You get a super bouncy fish. I'm pretty sure I've actually tried this in Minecraft before. It actually works. So, <laughs> yo, look at this fish, bro. Yo, it's going up like a hundred. Oh, it died. Oh, that's real sad. Now, does that actually work in Minecraft? Okay, so here we are. Here we are. I built the glass. It goes really high up. Not as high as the video, but let's see if the fish can make it out and back into the water. That's your goal, Mr. Fishy. You have to survive. Okay. Oh, it's, he's definitely bouncing higher. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Look at that. Come on, Fishy. Make it into the ocean. Be with your brothers and sisters. Come on, Fishy. Come on, Fishy. Let's go. You're almost there. You're so close. Oh, he ducked. Now, question is, does this work with a cow? Oh, wait, that's a shopping cart. I'm so, that's, am I in the right Minecraft version? This is awkward. Uh, let me fix this. Here we go, that's better. Oh, you don't really like to jump, do you? Okay, that's fine. Another beautiful day in Minecraft. Let me just drop in some soul sand, a nice water bucket. What, what is, what the heck? I'm sorry, wait, what? what? How did you go from soul sand water bucket to this? Now he's putting dolphins in here and the dolphins are, are swimming and now he's got some special boots and a potion and is he about to turn into a dolphin? I'm so confused. Dolphin's grace. Whoa, look at how fast he's running. Is this the fastest way to travel in Minecraft? Because I thought the fastest way was like soul sand, ice, and then head jumping. This might be a faster way. Okay, so this dude spawned in some dolphins and then like the dolphins hit him or something. Uh, they gave him like the dolphin grace, whatever that means. What is that? I've never heard of that. Uh, let me put on the boots. Let me see if they'll, um, do they, you guys like the boots? Okay, well, I'm definitely walking pretty fast. Like, look how fast I'm walking in the water. I don't even have the potion on yet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the potion. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely, this is definitely the fastest I've ever walked in water, but it's nothing like the video. And also, I don't know how to get the dolphin grace. What is that? Let me look this up. Oh, you have to swim near a dolphin. So let me see if I can start swimming. Do I have to be swimming? I can't just like be in the water. I guess I have to like actually swim. Oh my gosh, look at how fast I swim. Oh my gosh, look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that? Look at how fast I'm swimming right now. Look at that. Okay, because in the video, he was walking, but I have never seen a Minecraft player swim that fast, and now I'm suffocating and I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I got the Dolphin Grace, but it expired, and um, yeah. Okay, there we go. I got the Dolphin Grace, but yo, the Dolphin Grace literally lasts for two seconds. It goes away so fast. I'm like, I'm like really confused, because I don't know if this is working or not. I'm gonna say it semi-works. 
Okay, this is apparently an illegal OP bug. Yo. Teach me how to do that, bro. If you teach me how to do that, I'll teach you how to get this fresh new unspeakable hoodie. Look at this. Look at this. That logo is 3D, bro. No lie, this is the comfiest hoodie I ever own. I wear it literally all day. But how is he doing this? I don't understand. The, the, the pistons are just... It, it's just making it smell like insanely fast. That is so weird. Okay, so I'm setting up. I'm setting up the redstone back here. And then boom, the, now we got the clock. So now I'm gonna do that. And now, as you can see, it's doing the- Ah, oh, flip, I broke it. Okay, well, uh, let's just put something in the furnace. Okay, so if we put something in the furnace, you can see that it smelts very slow. Okay, now let's take it out of the furnace. Okay, now we got our clock on. And now we got this- Flip, what did I do? I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so now that's doing its thing. And then if we put that in there, it- It doesn't do anything. I just got trolled. I literally just got- Of course this doesn't work. What kind of nonsense is this? That would be- False. Okay, so this dude built this track and literally how are you even supposed to ride? I don't really understand, but um, he's gonna put a villager in it. That's a good idea. Yeah, test it with the villager. Don't test it with yourself. How is this supposed to... Oh, oh. Push him, push him, push him. Oh! <laughs> he actually made it down. What? Yo! Scariest Minecraft roller coaster ever to exist? I think yes. Are we actually about to build this in Minecraft, bro? Are you for real? Uh, what? Oh! Ho, 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 ho. You're basically just going straight down through the tracks. Okay, I'm just trying to understand how the flip this dude built this. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, how does he just make floating tracks? I could give myself, like, barrier blocks, for example, but that's not gonna make the tracks, like... Wait a second. No. How does that... Because if I remove that barrier block then it just deletes it okay so if i have a barrier block and i put it right here and then you see it looks like the tracks are are floating you know but how do i put a another uh, another track right where this barrier block is because i can't place the track anywhere i can only place it below and then if i delete this block it delete i'm gonna say this one is false i really wanted to make this roller coaster though it looks so sick this guy has to be using some sort of mod or something it has to be like a roller coaster's mod i found this roller coaster mod i don't think this is it nah yo this one looks crazy look at this should we download this <laughs> Leave a like if I should do this in another video, bro. Okay, so unfortunately, I couldn't find the Minecraft mod, but check out this data pack this dude made. Look at this roller coaster, bro. What? Yo, I want to download this so bad. Yo, he's doing a loop. Whoa, that is insane. What's this dude doing, okay? Uh, he's got a flint steel, okay? Catches it on fire, pretty normal. Uh-huh. And then he does that. Okay, so he, what? Did this dude just make a snow generator? Oh, now he's standing in the snow and he's freezing, but yet there's fire next to him. He's on fire and he's freezing. Someone tell me how this makes any sense. Uh, what, how can you be on fire and in snow at the same time? What? All right, I got my netherrack, I got my fire. I'm ready to set myself on fire and in snow. So this dude, this dude spotted in with a command, but I'm gonna try just placing it okay i think he used powdered snow all right so let's hop in we're in survival mode now so let me just hop in here okay you can see that i'm freezing my screen is getting cold however i'm not really catching on fire you can see my hand right there look what, what if i try to go in both oh oh no it just melted the snow it melted the snow that's what's supposed to happen right i'm assuming that's what's supposed to happen let me try it again okay so my toesy woesies are getting really cold let me get some fire in there oh yeah let me get caught on fire oh yeah okay yeah it just melts the snow wait so is that false i guess what the flip just happened i'm pretty sure that's what's supposed to happen so i'm gonna say that one's false <laughs> Okay, so this dude has a snowball and he's gonna throw it at a blaze. And everyone knows that snowballs hurt blazes because they're on fire. Just like the snow theory we tested, snow kills fire, which means snowballs are actually a really good way to kill blazes for those of you guys that didn't know. Look how easy he killed that blaze. Okay, so I don't really know what this dude's doing, but he's placing down some nice repeaters. Oh yes, a couple ticks on those. Very nice, very nice. We love a good Minecraft tick. Okay, so um, he is placing them. Um... I feel like this dude's low-key about to blow my mind, but also make me depressed because it's probably not gonna actually work. And Yo, what? Yo, chill. Yo, chill. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. All right, time to see if this actually works, okay? So I got the repeaters, and I'm pretty sure I did the same ticks as him. It was just kind of random, so. Okay, now we got the repeater going. Okay, it looks like it's going about the same speed, you know? And then he puts the water down, and then he puts it right there. 
I don't know if that makes any sense, but um... What does make sense is you getting this most comfortable hoodie that we sell right now. Yo, wait, what? Wait, I messed up. I didn't put the water in the right spot. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me, let me cover this up. He actually put the water right here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Well, that doesn't flip and work. False. <laughs> This dude is in a desert and he's about to blow your mind. He's about to show you something that Minecraft experts never show you. So he's gonna place down this glowing item frame and then, yeah. Yo, chill. Chill, chill, chill. I don't like where you're going with this. Chill. Yo, we just put a painting inside of a- uh, uh, What the flip? What the biscuits and cheese? What is he doing? Stop it, bro. You're breaking Minecraft. Stop it. Stop it. He's putting paintings on item frames. What is happening? I'm gonna do this in the rain just because it's depressing. Okay, so we have a glowing item frame and then I'm gonna put a block into it and then i'm gonna do a painting and then wait so it actually doesn't work hold on hold on look at this look at this look at this yo that's weird but if i delete this it's just gonna spawn a small one but if i try to wait a second what the flip? yo i <laughs> okay so that one's false i actually thought that one would work i thought you could place paintings over item frames well i have been fooled okay so this dude is in the in the rain again and, um, you know, he's pushing this redstone block. What? Wait, did he just activate that with lightning? Whoa! What? Yo, wait, that kind of messed me up. Is that actually legit? Let's put a block of redstone here. And then, okay, and then we have a lightning rod. Let's also change the weather to thunder because we will need the lightning. I did not know lightning can activate redstone. That, that All right, now we just got to sit and wait and see if it actually works. Oh, oh, wait, it worked. It actually worked. Yo, wait, I want to see it again. Show it to me again. Show it to me again. Do it again. Oh, oh, he did it again. Oh, yo, that's so sick. I did not, bro, blowing my mind. I swear every day I learn something new about Minecraft. You would think after playing this game for eight years, I would know this. I, what? This dude has a chest and he's putting hoppers on top of the chest. Everyone has done this before at some point in their Minecraft career. Now he's putting the cum poopers on top. What are you going to do with the cum poopers? He's putting hoppers in the cum poopers. Okay, this dude is getting very advanced. And then he's putting chest on top of the hoppers that are on top of the cum poopers that are on top of the hoppers that are on top of the chest. And then he's putting wheat and potatoes and carrots inside of these hoppers. And then what happens to them? It gives Gives them bone, bone meal? What? All right, so let's try to see if it actually works. So we're gonna put the carrots in here and then we're gonna put the wheat in here. And as you can see, it is going in the compooper and it is filling up. And then in the item hopper, we will, oh, it does give you bone meal. But wait, where do our wheat go and our carrots? Do they just disintegrate? I'm confused. Okay, so this dude has one little pixel of water and a bunch of chests. I'm very confused right now. Is that, is that going to catch him? Oh my gosh. No way. It caught him. What? But he wasn't even on the block. Yo, what? What? The cobweb caught him too? Okay, what about, what about the honey block? Okay, the honey block killed him. Still though, that is insanely impressive. Like, ah. he doesn't even land on the block. It's like, it's time to put this to the test, okay? So you can see I have literally one pixel of water and I can actually hit it. That is crazy. So let's go all the way up. I'm gonna need you guys to go all the way to the subscribe button. Go all the way. All right, here goes nothing. Literally nothing. Oh. So one pixel of water can indeed save you. But what about the cobweb? Will the cobweb be able to save my life from a death? Here goes nothing. Ooh. <laughs> it works. Yo, what? What exactly is this villager doing over here? Well, we'll, we'll get to that later. So this next guy is apparently going to show us an illegal OP item. Okay, uh -huh, uh -huh, I'm waiting for it. What exactly is this guy making? Oh, wait, this is the villager. <laughs> Look, I'm villager, I'm coming your way. Don't worry about it. What is this? So he does it. Okay, so Jeb, I've seen the Jebs 
Okay, so he. Whoa! Whoa! Wait a second! Absolutely illegal. Okay, so what exactly are you doing in here? Yeah, you can leave. Yeah, have a nice day. I just need a sheep, and not you. So we get our name tag. We do Jeb. Everyone knows the good old Jeb. And we get thy sheep, which keeps shearing Mr. Jeb. And Mr. Jeb grows the rainbow wool. So we should get the rainbow wool. We just gotta wait for Mr. Jeb to grow his skin back. I'm sorry, brother, but you're taking way too long. You're not growing your stuff back. Look at this chest. It's empty. All right, so I'm gonna replace you with Jeb number two. So as you can see, Jeb, rainbow sheep everyone knows this i drop him into the flip he's escaped oh no all right jeb sheep number two drop into the flipping biscuits and cheese all right jeb sheep number three stay right there sir jeb sheep number four stay right there sir you hey come here come here come here get in here get in here yeah yeah come here come here yeah i'm gonna put you right in there come a little closer oh no do not my shit! Yes, stand in there. Stand in there. Get in, fall in. Yes! Okay, wait. Oh, it just gave me white wool. What the heck? So it doesn't give me rainbow wool? <laughs> no! Yeah, that one's definitely false. In the video, he got rainbow changing wool, like the sheep, and yeah, that just doesn't work. All right, I'm, I'm scared for this one. I don't know why. He's just building something very tall. And usually when things are very tall in Minecraft, they seem to be true. That doesn't really make any sense, but yeah. Okay, so now he's placing a ton of trap doors. Is he gonna try to climb up them? I feel like this is gonna work because I'm pretty sure I've actually done this before, maybe? Oh, and he's also removing blocks? Yo, okay, first off, who would ever make a staircase like this? Absolutely no one. Let's, oh, and he goes right up, even through the iron trap door and everything. Very impressive. I think it's because the Minecraft player body is so long and your head like, you know, licks the ladder and grabs it before your feet does. So it's just kind of like, you know, stretching. All right, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build my uh, diamond blocks because I am fancy. And if this works, you know what? I'm confident. I think this is gonna work. All right, so there's a ladder every other block. Simple enough. Did you know how many trap doors there were in Minecraft? Bro, there was like to, to 10 different types. <laughs> hey, have you gotten the merch yet? Well, I just I just want to let you know that like the merch is fire. It's hot. Everyone's copping it right now. And oh, we're just going to repeat these and repeat these and repeat. How the flip do I make you close? Uh, I mean, that works. Technically, I'm not touching the block, so I feel like that would work, right? Okay, now now we have to delete the blocks that are on the trap doors, and they are now floating. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, so there we go with the random redstone block there. All right, I'm in survival mode. Let's get it. Here we go, as you can see. But look at this, look at this. So if I'm going up the ladder here, check this out. So if I'm going up right here, see, my feet are touching the bottom one, and then my eyeballs grab that top one, you know? So this makes sense. Like, honestly, could you just delete the trap doors and go up, up this? I want to see if this works. This is like the ultimate test. Are you ready? Oh. Oh, okay. I guess your eyeballs don't actually grab it. I just trap doors are magical. Okay, so this dude, this dude's building a portal like every other Minecraft player. You know, he's just gonna light it with the flint and steel. Nothing is sus about this video, okay? Absolutely nothing. This is all vanilla Minecraft, all right? You know, so he's gonna throw up the ender pearl and then he's gonna go outside the portal and then wait for it. Ladies and gentlemen, what the flip just happened? Wait, what did he, what did he do? Well, oh! Ah! I did it! Wait, what? Ha! He threw the ender pearl up in the air, which made his nether portal spawn in the air. And I feel like this is not true. How does that make any sense? I... Oh, wait, there's the ender pearl coming down. And then he teleports over there. So when he gets back in the war, I am so confused. Let's just try this, all right? Here we go. Throwing it in the air, hopping in, go! Hurry before it lands! Oh, flip. Oh my gosh, it landed! <laughs> I'm too slow. To be fair, I'm not slow. It's just the... Po okay, go, 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 go. No, it's gonna land. It's gonna land. It's gonna land. Go, go. What the flip? Oh, I landed on the portal. Ah, oh, hello, gem sheep. All right, ready? I'm gonna throw it while I'm in the portal, all right? Boom. I, I think it went in the portal with me. Oh! Ah! Oh. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did my portal just spawn in the air? Like I think it did. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, 
Oh no, I thought it spawned in the air because I saw this, but uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Illegal spawner bug. Okay, let's see what's going on here. First off, how'd you even get the spawner there? Okay, so he puts a cobweb under Mr. Spawner. He puts some dirt on Mr. Spawner, some dripstone on Mr. Spawner. Look, it's very simple. It looks very simple, although I don't know how the flip you got the spawner there. And then he, whoa. Ah, it's really buggy. You'll see in a moment. So he's deleting that block. Oh, oh, and it's pushing the spawner into the cobweb. Wait, what? Whoa, and that's how you drop a spawner. Let's see if this actually works. If this actually works, that means I can go in cave systems, grab the spawners and then make them above ground like that. That is so OP. All right, now does this actually work in Minecraft? I found a natural spawner. As you can see, I'm gonna dig under it a bit because this is what this guy did. Okay, so under Underneath it, underneath it, he places down a slab and then a cobweb, just like so. And then he places down two blocks and then a dripstone block and then pointed dripstone. Okay. Dude, I feel like I'm getting trolled right now. And then a piston right there and then a piston right there and then a redstone torch and it does push it down, but... And then all he does is he breaks this block and it falls and it does fall. However, the spawner is not budging at all. No! What? I was kind of hoping that one would work. That's exactly what he did. I'm, I'm watching the video right now. I just don't think it works. Maybe this worked in a old version of Minecraft, but it does not work in the new Minecraft cave update. Oh no, here we go. Is this dude building another portal? I don't want to see another portal, okay? Also, all those slimes are so cute. Now, this portal's way bigger. However, his ender pearl's gonna be way bigger too. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. You can see the slime straight through the portal. Huh, and they don't like discolor or anything. That is weird. Now, is this, is this true or is this false? We have a slime right there and as you can see, that's clearly false. Maybe the guy had some sort of texture pack on but yeah, doesn't work. All right, just another day in the desert. Beautiful day. We got some redstone lamps and we're just gonna have a beautiful day. Nothing could possibly go wrong. It's a wooden button versus a stone button. Okay, so it lights it instantly. The stone button, oh, oh, oh no, it doesn't even, it doesn't even do it. The arrows cannot push the stone button. What? I did not know that. No way. No way. Are you serious? Is it the same thing with pressure plates too? All right, so we got stone button and wooden button. As you can see, both of them do work. Our bow, boom, and not boom. What? Are you for real? Oh wait, I accidentally pressed it. I accidentally pressed it. Sorry, false alarm. That is insane. Okay, let me try pressure plates. All right, so here we have these two pressure plates. This one works, this one works. And then if we shoot this one with an arrow, it ignites and then this one doesn't, what? I low key did not know that if I'm being honest. All right, so this dude is flying with some fireworks. Just a beautiful sunny day, no weather in the clouds or anything like that. And then he decides to adventure down this uh, mysterious hole. And then what is, uh, oh, oh, he's just flying around. Just having a nice day, isn't he? Just having a nice, good all day. I mean, yeah, you can indeed do this. I've actually done this before. However, it's kind of difficult to get out of there. So this is something I actually want you guys to try, okay? Go in creative mode, get in a super flat world and fly underneath the world. It's so cool. Go try it and let me know in the comments section below if it actually worked for you. This next test is very, very interesting. So we have boats, minecarts, tons of stuff. So the boats do not destroy the end crystal. The minecarts don't destroy it. Nope, doesn't destroy it. Normal sand doesn't destroy it. What about dragon eggs? Dragon eggs don't destroy it. Gra Gravel doesn't destroy it. It's crazy because when you hit these things, they instantly blow up, but you know, it is what it is. That doesn't destroy it. What about the anvils? The anvils do indeed destroy it. Like what? Out of all the blocks, it's only the anvils. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and try this. So here we have the boats, we're good. The minecart is good. What about the sand? Good. Ah, good, okay. The gravel, good. And then the dripstone. Oh, that thing looks so cool. It's like a giant falling knife. And then the anvils. Oh, yep, so that's true. None of these blocks will destroy an in crystal, except for an anvil. 
Okay, so this dude falls in a nice bucket of water, and then there's a pressure plate under there, and he also survives. But if he falls in the cauldron, he dies. Eh, let's try this. We have normal water. Everyone knows normal water. You're good. You can fall from a thousand blocks, you're good. But, but what about the cauldron? Okay, <laughs> this one's a tricky one. All right, so I'm perfectly in the cauldron right now. As you can see, slime, I need you to back up. This is a very important experiment. I'm gonna go really, really high up. Moment of truth, does this work? Game mode survival. All right, I'm not touching the keyboard. I'm not moving. I died. And no, I did not hit the cauldron because I was perfectly in it. I think Minecraft just recognized the cauldron as a solid block because the Minecraft is just inside this solid block. All right, so this dude, this dude is spawning in a ton of TNT minecart. A ton, like a thousand. Like, bro, why do you need that many? Okay, and then what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? He's gonna place a sand block, okay? And he's gonna push it into the sand. Oh no, oh no, oh. Ah! Wait, what? Oh, his game crashed too. Very nice. Okay, first off, that doesn't work. If you push those, they're gonna explode. But we'll try it. All right, so he had the block like right here, I wanna say. And then he just spawned in a ton of them. I'm not gonna spawn in a thousand like he did. That's just insane. I'll do like a hundred or two hundred. Honestly, but honestly, if I spawned in a thousand, my computer, yeah, yeah, it's it's looking at me funny. It, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna, I promise, I'm not gonna do a thousand. All right, I think that's about good. This cow's been looking at me forever. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna push it into the ground. Yeah, see, that doesn't really work. That video is definitely a troll. He wants you to do it in survival mode and lose everything you've ever owned. All right, now what do we got? going on here that's a lot of observer blocks my guy oh and he's building them up and over and what the heck is going on now he's spawning boats on them what is this dude making like a roller coaster ride i'm very confused and then he places a slime block and then it is oh they're like dancing it's a nice little wave oh wait now they're floating oh that is kind of weird. I built, I built this magical contraption. It was very easy to build, just a lot of observer blocks. I'm gonna take the slime block and drop it right here and it doesn't do anything. I think maybe I put it on the wrong side. I'm supposed to put it right there. Yep, there we go. All right, so it, it throws up the boats like a wave and then I can remove that and then they float for a second and then they just slowly fall down. That is really weird. 